welcome to VSBN.ca. I'm Tally Campbell. Today on day three here at the Western Canada Cup at Frank Crane Arena, we're joined with the voice of the Clippers, Dan Marshall. Clippers are off today. However, they had two games already. First game they lost against the Yorkton Terriers, 4-3. Second game, last, second game last night, sorry, a much better game, 7-2 to two against the number one team in Canada, the Brooks Bandits. Uh, talk about the first game, what happened? In the first game, I thought Nanaimo came out surprisingly well, 2-2 two, two after 20 minutes. The Clippers had their offense going, went one for one on their power play. Really led by a line we hadn't seen before at any point during the season with Michael McNicholas at center. He's normally a winger. Reed Sturles and Matt Grant, and they, I thought, had very good chemistry in that first game, especially in the early going. The second period might have been the Clippers' best 5-on-5 five -five period of this tournament. They scored the goal, Colton Dolan, nice screen in front by the captain, Trevor Fitzgerald. So it's 3-2 going into the third, and that's when, boy, the Yorkton Terriers put the push on. They were so good. It led, really, I thought, on the back end by Brady Norris, his tremendous skating. And then up front, it was Jeremy Johnson that got the tying goal, and the captain, Devin McMullen, who got the game winner. Interestingly enough, McMullen was also the guy that had the game winner in Game 6 against Humboldt to put Yorkton into this Western Canada of the cup so he's a guy that has uh, he's no stranger to scoring clutch goals but a 4-3 win for Yorkton they put the end push on and they have the ability because they've been a championship team that they know when the chips are down that they can dig a little deeper and find a way to win I thought they did that very well in the first game and the Clippers they haven't played a playoff game in 37 days before they played on Saturday and maybe that showed a little bit that they didn't have that killer instinct at the end and of course we did end up seeing that on the Saturday. Absolutely, like you said, they came off strong in Saturday's game, and then Sunday's game versus the Brooks Bandits were, on the score sheet, most of it says probably a, a Bandits game. However, the Clippers changed it up. Strict uh, refereeing, though, 7-2 is the final score for the Nama Clippers. Give us your thought on that one. Well, when it comes to the refereeing, everybody was talking about the five-minute major to Anthony Paskarek. Uh, was it a major? Was it a penalty? Most people I talked to agreed there was a penalty call there. Uh, there was some contact with Jason Argy behind the net, and then there was some of it to the head as well. And it was a five-minute major for checking to the head. There was a lot of people that thought maybe it shouldn't have been a major. There was a lot of questions about was there some embellishment on that play. But whether it's a two or a five, I guess, is really immaterial now. There was a lot of penalties in that game. A couple of five-on-threes for the Brooks Bandits. They did capitalize on one. They went one for seven on the power play. The Nanaimo Clippers four for six on the man advantage. Thirteen power plays in a Western Canada Cup game. Probably not what the fans want to see, but when the host team, and that's what most of the fans are here to see, ends up getting on the right side of that, then they're happy. In that game, I thought a great move by Mike Vandekamp. Five of his six 20-year-olds played together on the power play, and it was those five guys, I thought, that really led the charge in the hockey game. Greg Fraser scoring, Kyle Kramer scoring, Reed Sturrow scoring, Brock Mashmeyer being instrumental in plays. Trevor Fitzgerald scoring as well. The guys that really had to score, and I even forgot Brendan Forbes, the guys that had to score that really know that this is the end of the road for them if they aren't very good at this tournament really played well. I thought putting those guys together and then providing offense together was really the catalyst for the rest of the group in that 7-2 win. Great. Thank you, Dan. Thank you. Catch all your Western Canada news right here at vsbn.ca.